In this session, I'm going to explain the concepts of product creation. The product can be seen under the sales menu. Yeah, this is products. Under the purchase menu, we can also see products. Under the warehouse and under some other menus, we can see the products. Okay, I'm just choosing the sales menu and products create. The product name is color mic. I'm selecting an image. Okay, this one. Okay, this can be sold or can be purchased. You can check these two boxes as per your requirement. If you are only selling this product, then you can uncheck the can be purchased checkbox. Or if you are using this both, then it means that you are purchasing it and then selling this product. Or you can only purchase this for your company purpose. Okay. Anyway, you can choose and tick or untick both of these as per your requirement. I'm going to the new tab, information tab, where you can specify whether the product is consumable. Oh, it's a little bit slow. Oh, whether you can choose the product is stockable, consumable, and service-based product. Stockable means the number of products is really important in the case. Uh, while we are creating a quotation, the number of products on hand or the forecasted quantity is really important. But in the case of consumable product, we are assuming that the product is available in all circumstances in the system. And the services, as you all know what our services is, it is always available in the system. Then sale price. The selling price of this color mic is 500. And the procurement method. Procurement, the costing method is a method in which the cost price is calculated. It can be a standard price, average price, and real price. Standard price means... Standard price means the price is calculated as uh, in a period of a year. It may be usually a year or usually a month or something as per your requirement. And the average price is at each incoming shipment or outgoing shipment, the product cost can be calculated and evaluated. In the real price, the, uh, the product cost price is calculated as the last outgoing product price. Okay. I'm setting it as standard price of 400. That is buying price. The cost price is buying or manufacturing price and selling price is 500. Buying price is 400. Hope you got the point. Then routes. How you are getting this product? You can buy this product or you can manufacture this product. If you are manufacturing, please make sure that you are taking this make to order. Then I am not manufacturing it, buying this. So buying, I have checked the buy checkbox then call for bids these are used while you are purchasing the product if you need you can check this uh, it's a different concept that I will explain the purchase okay then going to the suppliers who are the suppliers of this color mic I'm choosing Axler as a supplier of this color mic supplier product name supplier call this product as CLMK1. Very good. Sequence number, supplier product code. It can be anything. Mm, the minimal quantity. The minimal quantity that is ordered to the supplier. The supplier will deliver a bunch of this quantity. That means the minimal quantity. He will give 10 mics at a time, minimum. Then he, he can give more than 10. The minimum one is 10. Then delivery lead time, after we are making any sales or after we are giving a purchase order to the supplier, he is ready to give that product in how many days. That is represented in the delivery lead time. It may be seven days or it may be one day. Then the quantity, how many quantity, the quantity and unit price. You can choose that and save. System is a little bit slow. I'm sorry. Mm. Go 
good. Hasn't come. Okay, choosing once again. Mm, color mic one. Okay, minimal quantity is ten. Then delivery lead time one. No problem. Seven close. Okay, game now. Then if you have any description for the supplier, and J writing high quality, color mic is needed. Okay. Nothing more going to the inventory where we can update the inventory detail, how many quantity is on hand or how many I'm rewriting it as 50 that is 50 color mics are present in my inventory present in my warehouse then incoming whether there is any purchase order created for this then that is represented as incoming shipments then after that quantity available is calculated then going to the status it's really important the manufacturing company what is the status of this product is it in development normal end of life cycle or obsolete okay i'm not using this because i am not manufacturing the product then who is the product manager i'm choosing this as admin the product management manager is a person working in our company managing this product then procurement location product location where the products are placed then inventory where the inventory location is these are our Represented here then storage in which row in which rack and in which case the the product is placed Then it's weights that is volume. How much volume is it then gross weight gross weight means the weight of the product plus weight of its packing That is gross weight net weight is the weight of the product only Then entering this going to the sales menu What warranty what warranty are you giving to this product? I'm giving six months warranty then customer lead time if you are getting a purchase order then how many time do you need to deliver this product to the customer that is customer lead time how much t how much time do you need this product to deliver to the customer okay then description for the condition if you have any you can write it here then go into the variance Variance is not a new product. It's just the variation of this product can be based on color or origin anything. I'm using this origin. This product can be created in India, can be created in USA, or it can be in color variation. It can be in white color, black color, any colors. If you have any other variations you can click here and create more and more so you can have a list of all these variations combinations here okay color mic black and USA white USA black India white India all combinations okay if you need to give a specific price to any of this then extra price white color mic you need to have extra price I'm, I have set its pr selling price is 500 then white one needs to be price extra 100 so let's see what happens yes all others are 500 but the this one the white one is of 500 plus 100 600 black one is same then white one again gives 500 plus 100 600 if you need to change the this origin USA's pr uh, price then going to the prices origin USA's price you are at minus 50 okay deduction of 50 saving let's go and see what happened yes black and USA that is 500 minus 50 that is 450 white USA that is 500 plus 100 600 minus 50 that is 550 as per these rules the calculations remaining calculations are made hope you have understood this going to 
द अकाउंटिंग सो द अकाउंटिंग मेनो यू कैन सी द इंटरनल कैटेगरी ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट्स दिस इज कैन बी ऑल इंटरनल ऑल अदर प्रोडक्ट्स यू कैन चूज इन विच कैटेगरी सेलेबल और एक्सेसरीज इन विच कैटेगरी दिस कॉलर माइक गोज टू and i'm setting it as internal category uh, while i'm setting the internal category the income and expense account are already set for this internal category so it is there is no need to set the income and expense account for each of the product it's really nice that you choose internal category for a for you choose the uh, internal category and set the income and expense account for each internal category that's okay then you can Select the inventory calculation periodical or real time as per your requirement. I'm setting it as periodical. Then the tax terms you can set the tax if it is having no tax. Then you can set as purchase and supplier tax as zero. If you have taxes like twelve point three six, you can choose it here. That's it about the product creation. And then here you have some other windows like how many quantity on hand. Then what is the reordering rule? Reordering rule is nothing but if the product will reach a minimum quantity, then what what amount of quantity should be reordered or repurchased? Uh, that should be created automatically. That's set in the reordering rules. Then purchase how many purchases for this product has done? Then how many sales for this product has done? Then routes how these are supplied. whether it is manufacturing or buying what is it then this is the stock moves this all are about the products information so this is it about the product creation hope you have enjoyed the session thank you for hearing thank you very much